Hi guys, welcome to the Java class. In today's session, you will learn how to add a method inside a class that return a value. Method can return any type of values like it can return an integer value, it can return a float value, it can return a string value. So let us add a method that return a value. So I am adding a method that is get max speed. So this is a method that will return the maximum speed of a car. And this method return type I'm using the integer. It will return the maximum speed of a car. And here you can see the compiler is complaining. What is the complaint? This method must return a result of a type int. So here, how can you fix this problem? It is providing some solution of it that is add return statement or you have to change the type of it. If you will change the void means no need to return any value. But if you would like to return some integer value, you have to add a return statement in it. So I will, I will just click on it. You can see it is returning zero. So this is the maximum speed of a car. So how to just access this method inside a main method? You can just use the object that is my car one dot get max speed so this will return the maximum speed of a car but where it will return you need a variable to store its value and variable must be of the same type so here i will write the max speed is equal my car dot get max speed so whenever using object my car one you will call this method get max speed. This method will be called. It will perform some task means it will return the value zero. This value will be stored in a variable of the same type that is integer type that is max speed. So the max speed contains the maximum speed of a car. Now you can display it system dot out dot print. Ln. You can display the maximum speed of a car. Maximum speed. You can display speed and you can just print this variable max speed here. So whenever you will just save your program and you will just run it, you will get the output. The maximum speed is zero. So let us just add some more functionality inside this function. So let me add one variable of boolean type that is boolean and let me check this vehicle is electric or not and if it is electric so it will have some different speed or if it is not electric it will have some different speed. So I will use is electric. This is a variable and by default this boolean variable value is false. So I am just adding some functionality inside it under a if statement if is electric you can see if is electric it will return something like 220 this is the speed of it or else it will return something different value so here you can just use it will return if it is not electric it will return the maximum speed is 20 so this functionality we have added inside this function so you know very well just think about it. What will be the output of it? So let us just save this program and let us just run it and see the output here. So you can see here we go. The output is it is showing 250, right? So output it is showing 250. So by default, this vehicle is not an electric vehicle. So by default, the value of is electric is false. So that's why it is checking the value of this electric is false. So it will the else block will execute and it will return the value 250 into the variable max speed and the maximum speed of the vehicle will be that 250. So if you would like to just change or you would like to change the vehicle, right? So you can just change the vehicle. You can call the variable from the object that is my car one dot is electric and you can make this vehicle as an electric vehicle, right? So now this vehicle is electric, is electric is true. Now you are calling this function. So based on the electric vehicle, it will just calculate the speed of it and you can just display it. 
the speed of the electric vehicle is 20. So this is the way how can you add a method inside a car that return a value. So this is the car which contains some variables that display the information of it. And here, this is the function which is returning a value. And here, this is how will you call the functions which are present inside the car class. So this is for the session. Now you can understand, you can add more functionality in the, fun in the class and you can just understand the concept of the classes in the function in details. So this is for the day. Thank you. Bye-bye. We'll see you in the next session.